I kind of got on a metals kick and I was like, all right, so let's do, let's do some other cool stuff with metals, all right? Um, my favorite metal is copper, and so I thought, all right, let's, let's do something with copper for this show, okay? And this is an old, old demo. In fact, the little picture in your handout is from a 1940-something era um, write-up in J.K.M. Ed, which I thought was kind of cool. And I'll show you what I've got here. I've got, if I can zoom in careful with this guy, maybe like that. Okay, here's where we're hoping that we have good luck with lighting. Okay, let's turn this this way just so that the camera's a little bit better. You know, I want to go that way with it. There we go. Okay. Okay, Jason, can we try to do this with the little camera? Back up a little bit. Whoa, other way. Okay, and we hope we have some good luck with the lighting. Okay, so down at the bottom of the beaker, I've got a little bit of acetone. And this is a little piece of copper, a little copper strip, that I cut and put a hole in it. And there's a piece of like 14 gauge, like electrical wire through the middle of it. And here's the same setup with a penny. Hello, there's Lincoln. You can't see him. There he is. Okay, acetone in the bottom and a piece of copper in the top. Okay, not powdered copper, of course, So, because we're going to go a different way. Copper can act as an awesome catalyst. So when I first saw this demo, I was so charmed by it. I need my other burner. There we go. So we're going to heat this guy up. All right. And a little mood music. Let's see. Oh, it's groovy. Okay, now if we can dim the lights in here big time. Almost out, all the way. Now this is the gamble, because I wasn't sure what kind of lighting we'd have. From where you guys are sitting, can you see what this copper is doing? We can even take it down a little more, a little more. You think that copper's warm? And everybody says, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take this guy, and yes, I'm gonna lower it down over the acetone. Oh God, acetone's flammable. Oh God, what is she doing? Okay, we're gonna put it right over. Okay, here we go into the acetone. Holy cow, it shows up good. piece of copper before we started had a lot of copper one oxide all over it. It was black. If you get it really hot, you can re really reduce that back down to plain copper. And so you get this shiny, shiny, pure surface of copper. Take it out of the flame, it cools off real quick. All right? Not if you put it over the acetone. Now you can get a lot of mileage out of this demo for organic things, or for catalyst things. Because what's going on right there in the beaker, and it's even more charming up here, but believe me, you don't want to touch it. Um, the acetone is turning into an aldehyde, and it's a surface catalyst with the copper. So as the copper catalyzes the acetone, so it's an organic reaction too, that you get to go from a ketone to an aldehyde, and if you were standing where I am, you would smell the wee bits of formaldehyde coming off of this. That reaction is so exothermic that it's keeping the copper strip red hot and not using up the copper because that's the essence of a catalyst. Now, if we let this go long enough, the um, aldehyde will end up turning into acetic acid, so it will oxidize even further. And I just absolutely love that. It is so hot that it will continue, and it'll continue to do this until that acetone is gone. It'll just be in there just shimmering. And what you see, that shimmer you're seeing, is the reaction going over the surface where it just starts to oxidize and then it can't because it's so hot. And it's absolutely just bright, bright, bright. 
I love that. You can do it with a penny too. I just used the copper strip because it was a little bit bigger for today. Now watch what happens when I pull this out of here though. Watch how fast it pulls off. I'm not touching the beaker for that. That would be foolish. That would really not be smart. All right, here it comes out. Oh wait, back in. Not quite. I left it out a little too much. Usually it'll heat back up when you put it back in there. Is it going? There it goes. Okay. Word of advice. There it is again. Word of advice. Don't use anything less than 14 gauge wire. Things got a little lively with some 10 gauge the other day. Woohoo! Um, now, it, doesn't it seem like this would be a really stupid, dangerous demo to do with the acetone? It really isn't. You, I mean, you could get a flash, but it cools off the copper so much that it actually, you know, I've n never, never reported an accident with it, even though you think, oh, you it should, but no. Oh, I love it. Okay, what do we have next? Am I done? Do you like this? How many folks, anybody teach organic chem? Say yes. Wow, a couple. So now you got one.